Maybe you've seen my other videos on Leatherman multi-tools, which I have and I very much believe in and have used a lot. Love them. Specifically, the Juice S2 and the Charge TI. And yes, both of those come in different versions, but those are the videos I've made on the specific models, and I love them. Now, this is another Leatherman. And yes, I gravitate towards Leatherman, and yes, I have other brands of multi-tools, which are good. However, I do prefer the Leatherman, at least as of the taping of these videos. That is, that's the best that was being offered in mid-2008, as far as I'm concerned. Now, what's this one? You may have figured it out already. This is a very small multi-tool. Specifically, this is the squirt. And more specifically, it's the squirt P4, Papa 4 multi-tool. And it's excellent. I love it. Nice carry sheath came with this one. I don't think they all come with it, but this one came with it to keep it nice and unscratched if that's what you desire. The Squirt P4 offers a heck of a lot of utility for its very small and compact form factor. In fact, for years, this was my primary multi-tool I carry. Definitely. Not the specific one. This is my backup one. I have another one that's more thrashed. Uh, it's around here somewhere. This was a handy one, so I'm going to show you this one. And yes, it's in hot pink. And I dig that color in this multi-tool. It's attractive. It's cool. So if you don't like hot pink, sorry. Deal with it. It's cool looking. And another advantage of having a, a different color of your blade or multi-tool is that it's easier to find. Because almost everything I got is tactical black, dudes. So it's kind of nice to change it up once in a while. Have a different color that's easier to find in your kit, whatever that is, if you're visually looking for it. So, first off, I'm going to tell you why I stopped carrying the Squirt P4, and then I'll go over the individual features and tell you what's good about it, and it's mostly good. Now, also as an aside, the Squirt comes in different models. The E is for the electrician's version, which has a wire stripper set of pliers instead of regular pliers. The P, this version, has the regular pliers. And then you have the S version, the S4, which has scissors. So you kind of need to decide which of those three tools you want because you ain't getting all three of them. You're going to go one or the other. And obviously, I've chosen and like the P4 best of all. For my purposes, that's the most useful. So, Squirt P4 by Leatherman. First off, let's talk about the weight. It's a two ounce multi-tool. Now you may say two ounces, that's nothing. And it really isn't. In the big scheme of things, two ounces really isn't a lot of weight. But when you hold a two ounce chunk of metal like this, you know you're holding it. I mean, it's more substantial than you would think. Why do I bring that up? Not because it's a disadvantage of this subcompact multi-tool, but because Leatherman terms this a keychain knife. And they kind of, by doing so, indicate you should throw this on your keychain. And I'm sure a lot of people do. However, I never have and I never will because I'm not a big fan or advocate of putting a lot of weight on your keychain. And that's because as you put your keys into your ignition of your vehicle and drive around over bumps, potholes, whatever, that weight jostles up and down and it can wear your ignition out. So anytime I'm going to put anything on my keychain like my wife's I'll, I'll use a very light weight knife kind of like a jester and polymer by Spyderco that's a good keychain knife it's almost invisible it's so tiny so lightweight so I wouldn't recommend putting two ounces a two ounce multi-tool on there certainly you can and there's probably some of you who have had no problems I just don't do it therefore I don't call these keychain multi-tools so much as I do subcompact multi-tools because they are more compact and you can carry them in a variety of ways which is a great advantage of the design now on to the reason why I stopped carrying the Squirt P4 and it goes it's two reasons really and when I say stop carrying it doesn't mean I don't like it it doesn't mean I don't love it 
it just means that I decided for my tool purposes I upgraded to carry a little bit extra weight to get a lot more performance and it goes it speaks to the pliers these are small pliers and they're very effective for um, I have found for untying knots I love these pliers for untying knots they're perfect maybe fishing out an item that's fallen into a crevice or something they're very good for that for smaller wire smaller to medium wire they can cut however they have no hard wire capability in other words they can't cut through heavy bailing wire or a nail like the charge can and heck even the juice s2 can do that to a certain degree so these pliers are not the size you're going to run around changing the world with and if you're macgyver i would probably want something bigger because these smaller pliers can be overwhelmed with torque and i've learned that in various tasks as i as i try to use them maybe it was i forgot specifically what it was but i found that these pliers um, could be over torqued they're small and you will get some flex once you really start bearing down on them you're going to get some flex through the entire design you can get that with any multi-tool but you're going to get it at higher levels with the juice or the charge because they're heavier duty they're bigger they're they're just tougher so these are great light duty pliers and they do have some serrations for bar stock maybe turning a bolt notice also how the grind is on the pliers is that it's not totally flat they come together in the tip and I kinda wish they were flatter in here too because I'm grasping something it means that those serrated jaws would have a purchase flat on that item the whole way instead of just at the tip so if we grab something mostly the tips gonna be doing all the holding as you can see how that's ground that being said though they are precise as they come together towards the tip sorry I can't focus better short good stainless steel throughout the tool I've never found it wanting and I do keep it oiled up with rim oil and I've never had rust doing so so that's the pliers that's one reason I upgraded to the juice s2 for my EDC multi-tool what's another reason well it's a function of the design and the form factor and that is the s2 I'm sorry the squirt p4 does not have scissors and yes, I could get the scissors version, but I want the pliers to, heck, I want both of them. You're going to have to make some hard choice, choices with a squirt in figuring out what is your most important and needed tool. Because as a function of its design, there's no tools on the interior of this comp, subcompact multi-tool. The only place it has room for is either the pliers, the wire strippers, or the scissors, depending on which version you get. And I like scissors. Like I said in my juice review, they're very nice to have with you at all times. So, for a little bit extra weight, a lot more strength, I upgraded to the juice. Now, that being said, the Squirt P4, as a subcompact multi-tool, has a lot to offer, as long as you're cool with the limitations. Let's talk about the drivers. Here's your Phillips driver, and it is a flat-bladed Phillips driver, which isn't bad. I mean, you may say, well, what? flat bladed Phillips drivers suck and they might however I found this is quite effective and remember this is a tiny multi-tool being tiny means we don't have a lot of capability for torque and therefore a flat bladed Phillips is actually quite adequate because for this, the amount of torque we're able to apply why not go with a flat blade also it's very compact and it allows the thickness of this handle to be a lot more slender flat bladed screwdriver and in my opinion that's an excellent screwdriver blade as good as a Swiss Army almost as big very amazing for that size of multi-tool run out of time so I gotta hurry that's your file works great I've sharpened fish hooks with it and other things very good this size this side's great for nails I don't like the blade it's an asymmetric grind kind of a chisel single edge grind on this blade which is a small pin knife blade I would much prefer a conventional grind on the squirt and this is one of the blades I've used a lot that I just don't like asymmetric grinds on. I have touched this up, it is razor sharp, prefer a regular grind on it though. Super awesome is this punch. I wish every multi-tool had this punch slash all. Very, very effective. Leatherman, if you're watching, add that to all your multi-tools. Sometimes you just need to drill a hole. And this tiny screwdriver. That's the squirt P4 outstanding about 30 bucks 25 bucks very